one of the most powerful subtle attack of the devil against a man on cause for a generational impact is the attack of defocusing or the attack of distraction now hear this the devil cannot exercise dominion over you until he has successfully distracted you or defocused you now let's have a quick rundown of great people in the scripture that was paralyzed frustrated grounded and that wasn't possible until the devil succeeded in distracting them now Adam couldn't have lost the garden of Eden if not for the distraction through the seed the fruit that he ate Sansa couldn't have been distracted if not for the person of Delilah Judas was distracted with the pocket or the treasury of Jesus' thing every great person in the scripture that was limited frustrated grounded was first the person's focus was attacked and the person grossly distracted and that began to be the person's actually heels my assignment this morning is to tell you that there is a great trophy ahead of you there is something god has structured you empowered you to walk into and become his expression of his rulership on the earth but one of the things you must fight and resist is the issue of distraction is the issue of lack of focus the bible said they looked unto him they had opportunity to look upon several other things but they looked unto him and their faces became radiant and they were not put to shame the pathway of the righteous is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day ladies and gentlemen what is this prophet saying this morning i've come to tell you that there is a victory ahead of you there is a great impactful manifestation ahead of you but you need to find out the art that brings great people in the terrains of the journey of greatness a lot of people are lily livered most times they, as they describe opposition as God don't be evident look at me you can be in the center of God's will and yet gravely resisted wasn't Jesus in the boat and yet the storms was ravaging the presence of storm doesn't mean the absence of God's presence so there are times in our journey in life some issues will come up to throw you to resist you you know painting a picture that looks as if what god has said in the light is it going to manifest in the light but i've come to tell you if you can look at him and have focus that which god has said will come to pass